Hello again. Since we last spoke, I have not changed my opinion of this fine institution. I am still learning new things in and out of the classroom. I have begun to submit to Bryn Mawr's two literary magazines, Tippin O'Bob and The Lantern, which has helped me to step out of my comfort zone and force me to share my poems with new people. At the moment, I am in the process of writing another poem to submit. It's entitled The Jellyfish and is as follows. Visible, invisible, a fluctuating charm, an amber tinctured amethyst, inhabits it, your arm, approaches and it opens, and it closes, you had meant, to catch it and it quivers, you abandon your intent. I'm experimenting with my language and how to shape my words and phrases in order to enhance or even change their meaning. As my subject, I've chosen jellyfish. It took me some time to settle upon using these creatures, but I feel that the fluidity of their movement in the water can be easily mimicked with my words, as well as their balance, grace, and mysteriousness. I also feel that the untouchable nature of jellyfish corresponds closely to the experience one has while reading poetry. If you reach out to touch a jellyfish, it will move just out of your grasp, much like one's understanding of a poem. We may reach and strive to understand the meaning of a text, but even if we have a certain understanding of it, we may never gain full and complex knowledge of what that text truly means, or what its author intended it to mean. On an even broader scale, another goal I wish to achieve with this poem is to comment on the fact that in our world, the things we rely on as being stable are actually constantly changing, which is not to be mourned, but to be celebrated. I have attempted to get this message across by playing with the tone of the poem and condensing the typical sonnet form. I'm not certain whether I will submit this poem to the magazine, however. Perhaps I will wait to do so and rethink some of the themes. I will speak to you soon.